Good evening, ladies and guys. What's up? Today is Thursday. The, uh, what is... Today is the 1st of November. Ho, ho, ho. It's Thanksgiving month. Ho, oh, ho. Now, actually, um... I just got off work, which was Halloween, so it's kind of weird to go from Halloween to November all of a sudden. But, hey, you know what's up? Fucking, it's 9 a.m. <laughs> How we doing? <laughs> That's awesome. All right, what's up, guys? But seriously, though, um, nothing going down really this week. Uh, next week is going to be insane, dude. Okay, um, we've got Halo 4. What? what? Uh, we've got a couple other things coming up, but... For first off, though, um, let's let's start off with what I watched, okay? You know the usual, but um, I'll start off with a movie I actually watched just uh, today. Uh, Silent House. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard of this movie, but it came out this year. Uh, <clears throat> basically, this girl gets like locked in her house, and uh, like her and her dad are on like their their like vacation house or whatever. So she gets locked in this house and. For like the whole movie, she's getting chased around and she can't break out. She's trying to find a way out, but this guy's chasing her around the house. It's it's a pretty awesome movie. Uh, I I don't know. It's got, it's getting really bad reviews, but I don't I don't know. I liked it. It had a really twisty ending too. It started getting really weird, and then they just twisted it all around to a to a non spoiler. Um, something happens. Yeah, but. Let's get over to the main stuff we watched. Uh, obviously, we watched Shippuden this week, but there is a two-parter this week. Whoa, two-parter, which is weird because they usually reserve those for the big, the big episodes, like um, you know, like a big fight scene in the series or a big event. But they did it for a filler. What? Um, yeah, it was a, it was a Tsunade and Raikage flashback and how they met, and there was this thread, and she saved their life, like his life, and his subordinates lives and all that um but this is one of those episodes that really make you appreciate Tsunade and series one as a whole like uh like Tsunade was a really good character in series one and you kind of forget that in series two just because you don't really see much of her but I liked it I thought it was a pretty neat flashback um I don't know I think Tsunade is a pretty good character she's a really tragic character so also um What's up with Shizune, man? Yo, she like pulls her leg up and she's like, she's rocking no no underwear, man, <laughs> or something. I don't know, man. We can see pretty far up her her dress thing. What's going on there, man? She's got no bloomers on under there. I don't know, but we get to see Mad Shizune thigh. All right, that's the title of this episode, Shizune thigh. All right. Next up, Fairy Tale 154. It was a pretty awesome episode. Uh, mainly focused around uh, Jalal and Erza finally meeting again, and there's a there's almost a kiss scene, and fangirls are bugging out. They're like, "Oh my god, what's happening?" And um, I actually checked out Tumblr during this episode, and people really love this episode, and I I kind of agree. It was a really good episode, but as far as plot progression, like towards the tournament, it did they kind of took the cheap way out. Alright, so basically Altier and uh, I forgot what the other girl's name are there. Altier apparently has the ability to level up people now. And they explain how the whole like magic system works in your body and basically she can instantly like increase the amount of magic you're capable of producing or something and basically it's a fast way of making them strong. Which is kinda cheap. I don't know. But it was a pretty good episode. Uh, then we had One Piece five seventy. Which was, um, I can't really remember much about it. It wasn't that great. Uh, I mean, it was better than the last two episodes, but I don't know. It, was, it starts off with mad fan service. Uh, Shirahoshi's, like, getting raped by Caribou, and she's in a big mud bath, and, like, you know, he's just, like, oozing all over her and stuff, and finally, we, uh, Luffy shows up and one hits him out of there. It's pretty funny. But, uh,. I don't know, the episode itself was basically just an explanation episode about, like, what's going on in the world, how uh, Blackbeard or whatever is mainly taken over as one of the four knights, or what are they called, the Yonkai or Yankai or something? Um, and then the Marines are basically, they have a new leader, it's Akenu or whatever, and what's the other guy, Akaji, Akwaji or whatever? I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. I guess he's like missing, so I hope he doesn't become a straw hat because I hate him. But it's gonna be interesting to see what, what what he's doing when they show up. And then finally we get a little snippet of what's coming up next. Uh, big Mam or whatever. 
I don't know. It, it was an okay episode. Then we had a uh, Sword Art Online episode 17, which we finally get to see Asuna and how she's doing. She's basically like locked up there by the bad guy, so now we know she's aware of her situation. Um, how she's locked in this game that Kirito is going to find or whatever. But we also get a pretty big reveal. Um, so this girl that Kirito is exploring around with is actually his sister, but she doesn't tell him. And I don't know if she knows that that's Kirito or what. I don't know. It was kind of weird the way they did it, but it's weird because she, she loves him or whatever. She doesn't want. She wants to be with him instead of Asuna or whatever. And they're getting really incestual, and it's I don't know. Um, it was an okay episode. It was kind of just uh, hey, this is how uh, this is the city. This is how the mechanics work. You can fly like this, and Kirito masters flying really fast. Uh, it was an okay episode. Uh, Bakuman Season 3 Episode 4, which, eh, it was more of another, uh, let's get motivated episode, and, um, I don't know, they basically get told that their manga doesn't fit as a, um, as a anime, so now they're basically bugging out trying to make a new manga, at least that's what the main character's thinking about doing, um, Mashiro or whatever, and then... Takagi is going to be working on one of their assistants manga too now, so that basically goes his chance of making another manga while making this manga, so it's, I don't know, it's getting bugging out. Like, you know there's going to be a confrontation pretty soon between Mashiro and Takagi or whatever. Um, it was an okay episode, nothing really bad about it. But then, we had Dexter Season 7 Episode 5, come on. This was a good episode. Um, what can I say, man? It was Dexter, our, like him and the bad guy are already confronting each other, and it was pretty awesome. The way this episode opened and everything, and Dexter outsmarted him. And it, you really appreciate how, how smart Dexter is and how well prepared he is. It's pretty cool. Uh, then we had Walking Dead Season 3, Episode 3. Pretty awesome episode. We didn't really get to see much of the main group. Um, it was basically, uh, the, what's the black chick's name? I can't remember, dude, but, uh, fuck, what's the white girl's name? I can't even remember either. Um, basically, the, the girls from the, who've been separated, wherever, they're exploring the new city that they're at. Merle's alive, and, uh, the governor's a badass. Yeah. Uh, nothing really else this week. Games I've been playing are Assassin's Creed V, Tales of Gracious still, and that's about it. Um, if you want to know more about this week, check out my What Did Frazzleberry Buy This Week? <laughs>